hey, math students. So I got an email from one of my GED students asking me this question. And I was like, hey, look, <laughs> a word problem in real life. Um, so I wanted to get a chance to look at this with you guys because um, one of the skills that comes up on the GED, it could come up on the math test, the science test, or the social studies test. Um, our percentage problem. So let's take a look at this real life percentage problem a student is having. She um, emailed me and said, you said I needed a 60% to pass my civics test. I scored 21.5 points, but I don't know if that's passing. How can I convert my score to a percentage uh, so I may have taken a little artistic license with the student's email and made it sound more like a word problem. But this is uh, the gist of what she sent me. This is the information she gave me. And we've got a problem. Our scores and points. And yet the only way we know how to tell if we pass this particular test is with a percent. So how can I convert uh, a point score to a percent? Okay, so first thing, let's just write down what we know. We know that she's got 21.5 points, and that's all we know so far. And actually, you guys are missing a little bit of information that I have in my brain. So this is what you have to know. Whenever you have a point score, uh, not a percent score, um, you have to ask yourself, and you can always ask yourself this question when finding a percent, out of how much? That's what you need to ask yourself. Yes, she scored 21.5 points, but that 21.5 was out of how many? I mean, if there were only 22 points on the test, she did really, really well. Whereas if there were like 400 points on the test, she did very, very poorly. This 21.5 was out of how many? Well, it turns out that this civics practice test that I gave her had a total of 25 points available. So she scored 21.5 out of 25 total. Now, I love using this slash um, to abbreviate the phrase out of, and your teachers will use it a lot. You may have even seen this written at the top of your paper before. Like you got, oh, 18 out of 64, or you got 33 out of 35. Um, we use that kind of uh, abbreviation all the time for out of and I love it I love it I love it I love it because it just naturally and intuitively goes to the math we have to do because we know that a slash or a fraction bar means the same as divide so when I say 21.5 out of 25 I'm literally telling you to take 21.5 and divide it by 25 now this is interesting because we're used to the kind of division where the total comes first and yet when we go to find a percent, it's a ratio and so that total always comes second um, because I'm comparing the number that I got correct to the total number of questions on the problem. And so even though it feels counterintuitive, I'm gonna need you to type 21.5 first when you go to divide this in your calculator and I'm gonna divide by 25. Now could I have done this division by hand? Yeah, I could have, but guess what? If I had this problem on the GED, I would have my handy TI30XS calculator. And so I'm going to do this problem that way. So when I divide 21.5 by 25, I get 0 0.86. Now, if you're the lucky student who can just look at a decimal and um, know what it is percent-wise, well, good for you. But I am going to continue using my TI30XS to take this decimal answer that I just got and now do the final step, which is convert it into a percent. So there is a convert to a percent function on your GED calculator. It looks like this. Arrow means convert. And then there's a little percent thing. And what you're going to notice is that um, is in green right over the clothes parentheses button. Anytime you want something in green on your TI30XS calculator, you need to hit the second button first. So I'm going to hit second and then convert to a percent and then I'll hit enter. And I will see that this student scored an 86%. So let's go back to her question. Is she passing? Well, she needed a 60% to pass. She got an 86%. My dear, you are ready to take your civics test. And for the rest of us, if you have any questions about percentages, be sure to drop it in the comments. And I will do my very best to answer it.